Hey Mojo Alex, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Now we have lots of great trivia and giveaways and other fun stuff to talk about, but before we get to that, I wanted to give all you loyal viewers a huge thank you for helping us achieve two consecutive record days in terms of views this week. If I could hug you all, I would. Now, let's do this. In case you missed it, this week we published our picks for the top 10 sitcoms of all time. And I will tell you this, if you watch enough of our videos, you can probably guess what made it to number one. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Wink. We also published our video on the top 10 actors that can only play good guys to go with our previously published video, top 10 actors who can only play bad guys. Like, you know how it was weird when Julia Roberts played the evil queen in Mirror Mirror? Yeah, kind of like that. And finally, we published the first of three videos about predictions people have made that were proven false. The one we published yesterday was the top 10 worst technology predictions. So let's say someone said the iPhone was gonna fail, or x-rays wouldn't work, or that all computers would melt down at the stroke of midnight on January 1st, 2000. Those things would be very, very wrong, and we will mock them. It's weekend Mojothon time again, and if you're lucky enough to be suffering through this heat wave in the comfort of an air-conditioned home, you can spend your time with these videos. Today, we're starting another series, Top 10 Defining Musical Acts Per Decade. We're beginning with the 1950s, and next Friday, you'll see the Top 10 Ultimate Musical Acts of All Time. That's tough. Like, how do you choose between Elvis, Madonna, The Beatles, and Michael Jackson? I'm kind of stumped. A couple of weeks ago, we published Top 10 Harry Potter Characters, which I forgot to mention was the first Top 10 we ever published completely in HD. I know, right? Anyway, coming up on Sunday, we've got another video for you that's sexy and crisp and completely in HD. Robocop versus Terminator. If that doesn't keep you guys happy, I don't know what will. And finally on Sunday, we've also got Top 10 Worst American TV Remakes to go with the Top 10 Worst American Movie Remakes that we published a couple of weeks ago. That should keep you guys yelling at your screens for a while. Enjoy. As you may have noticed, I am in a new location today, and that is because we are doing renovations in the office. We have no bathroom. Anyway, to bring things down a little bit and to get historical, are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. Approximately how many people died during World War I? 16, 1600, 16,000, or 16 million? Now, while it's impossible to know exactly how many people died in the Great War, for the purposes of this quiz, you are correct if you said 16 million. Anyway, if you want to test your knowledge of that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about that because July 28, 1914 marked the beginning of World War I. If you want to learn more about that conflict, be sure to check out our World War I series, including How Did It Start, Which Countries Fought, Weapons and Technology, The Treaty of Versailles, How Did It End, and The Aftermath, as well as our video on the top 10 bloodiest wars of the 20th century. Also, don't forget to make your way to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. But guess what? To bring things back up a little bit, we have a bonus giveaway for you. In conjunction with the Blu-ray DVD release of The Other Woman on July 29th, we have one Blu-ray copy to give away. Standard rules apply, you must be located in the US or Canada, and you must correctly answer the following question in the comments. The Other Woman stars Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann, and which Sports Illustrated swimsuit model? It also has Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones if you're interested. I know I am. Anyway, we will be picking a winner at random from the comments, and we will be announcing the winner in a future show, so be sure to tune in to see if you won. Now, before we get your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Last weekend, we published top 10 trailers that were better than the movie. Next Thursday, we have top 10 movie ninjas. And coming up not this weekend, but next, top 10 Nas songs. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we have even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, for the gamers, we will be running a series on the top 10 overlooked games. In other words, games that didn't sell well or that don't get talked about at all these days. 
We're making five lists split by generation because there are so many hidden gems out there, it'd be criminal to limit it to 10 entries only. And to accompany our list of the top 10 iconic pieces of classical music, top 10 iconic pieces of opera. You gotta keep it classy. Anyway, if you want to learn a bit about opera, or if you want to teach us a thing or two, please vote on that one. And seeing as how Top 10 Opera Singers is close to pushing 100 upvotes, then we'll likely do that one too. So vote on both to have your say. And as always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com suggest to let us know what you think. And make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you might have an opinion on. Hey guys, here's the part of the show where Dan and I usually answer questions about tech stuff or business stuff or stupid decisions that we've made or whatever. But as of next week, we'll be carving out the FAQ into its own standalone show. We're doing that for a few reasons, which you'll see when you tune in, but mainly it'll be a little bit more interactive and we're also gonna showcase more of the Watch Mojo staff. And that responds to a chorus of people asking to see more of the Watch Mojo staff. Dan and I will still be doing the odd FAQ here uh, that's directed to us or that's about a specific video, but we'll mainly be using the tail end of the What's Your Mojo show to be doing giveaways, which means free stuff for you Mojoholics. Now that that's out of the way, we have to announce our winners from our Rio 2 giveaway from episode 27 of What's Your Mojo. All right, chosen completely at random by a team of cigar smoking monkeys, our winners are, drum roll please, Xavier Martinez and Connor Kaiser. Congrats, guys. Yes, so as always, email us via YouTube with your addresses and we'll get you your prizes ASAP. Speaking of which, a long time ago, we did a contest where we gave away speed prize packs, but one of our winners never collected his prize. So basically two things. If you want to claim your prize, you have to email us within a month to do so. And second of all, we have a new speed prize pack to give away. So we're gonna give that to the top comment this week. But remember, you gotta watch in the coming weeks to see if you've won. Which brings me to my next point. Like we said, we'll be doing a lot more giveaways in What's Your Mojo from now on, and next week I think is our coolest one yet. Can I guess what it is? No. Yeah. Is it a car? It's not quite that cool. Is it a mug with my face on it? It's way cooler than that. Okay, is it a pony? God, you're a weirdo. No, next week we will be giving away a pack with premium headphones and Bluetooth speakers. Ooh, can I win that? Obviously not. Anyway, but you can, dear viewer, and tune in next week to do so. Hey, headphones and speakers? That's perfect for our top 10 musical acts of the decade series, which starts today. Yes, you see what we did there? Alrighty, friends. Another thing that kind of raised some eyebrows this week was top 10 multi-franchise actors. Some of you in the comments were pretty vocal about how you were upset that we did not mention Sir Ian McKellen's contributions to the Harry Potter franchise. Yeah, there's a good reason for that. He's not in those movies. Like, I get it. Old dude, pointy hat, beard, wizard, wisdom, that kind of stuff. But dude, I don't even know where to start with this one. It's just super not Ian McKellen. Uh, when Richard Harris died after the first two Harry Potter movies, Michael Gambon took over. And while I preferred Richard Harris's performance, and I'm sure Sir Ian McKellen would have done a kick-ass job, he didn't want to get typecast as old dude wizard. So he is Gandalf and Michael Gambon is Dumbledore. Jeez, I just went full nerd. Yeah, well, the comments on that video got even more ridiculous. Apparently, there was a back and forth between Dumbledore, Gandalf, and Aragorn that kept our comments maker guy in stitches. Let's read them in voices. It was easy to defeat Voldemort. He was stupid. If it wasn't for Harry Potter, then I would have arisen from death and take Voldemort out with all my fury. For me, it was even easier to defeat Sauron by throwing Frodo in the volcano while riding my giant eagles. What? Gandalf, what darkness has been growing in you? I can easily defeat you with my army of death. Tell me, where is Frodo? I, uh, I did it as Christopher Walken instead. I, I can't do Viggo Mortensen. I think I probably would have done a better Aragorn than I did a Gandalf. This was a bad idea. Who earns? Anyway, let's finish up by reading some of the comments of the week, which thankfully won't have comments about this. <laughs> Hypersapien made his opinions known about who he thinks is the sexiest female video game character. Miss Pac-Man is the curviest chick in gaming. 
Well, she does gobble a lot of balls. Inappropriate. Anyway, uh, Daniel Roberts kept the war garble to a minimum when he commented on top 10 controversial Americans abroad. Hang on, watch Mojo. I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce's video was one of the most controversial figures of all time. Nailed it. And finally, Evolved Cockroach commented on the show last week. Hi, watch Mojo. I hope you read my other comments about making a top 10 about cockroaches. That would be new and unique. It will make us really happy, and my fellow roaches are fans of Watch Mojo from a long time. We love your videos. Keep up the great work. All I can say is thank you. And, huh? Anyway, guys, gals, and insects, we thank you very much for your comments and questions. And if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments, catch us on Twitter or Facebook, or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ, and if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching, and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo. Don't stop believing.